Hi everyone, Max from Crisco's Design is here. In this video, you will learn everything that you need to know about most important material that is used in production of drone frames. Today, we are going deeper into carbon fiber composite technology. In my last video, I have shown it that stiffness and the strength is not the same thing. And uh, they are actually opposite to each other. In case you have missed that video, you can watch it by following a link in the top right corner. As you probably know, carbon fibers have several advantages, including high stiffness, high tensile strength, low weight, and uh, some others. Because of these properties, carbon fiber composites is major material used for, uh, in the production of drone frames. Carbon fiber composites can be found in the forms of tubes, bar, bar strips, and the sheets. For instance, here I have a couple of uh, examples of the strip. As you can see, this is strip. Here I have some hexagon tube. Here I have some with interesting shape, like a wing, wing type shape. If you can see here, yeah. here we go. This is also the stri uh, strip. And uh, here's, I have some samples of the sheets, some different samples of the sheets. To produce carbon fiber composite, the carbon atoms are uh, bounded together in crystals that are aligned parallel to the long axis of the fiber. Then several thousand of the fibers are bundled together to form um, a toe. Then toes are woven into a fabric, uh, something like that, and fabrics are layered and impregnated with the plastic resin and then bake it. This is how actually carbon fiber composites are made. Usually drone frame manufacturers are describing that they are using 3K blah 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 carbon fibers. But that statement tells nothing about the quality or durability or some other property except that the, there is a 3000 of carbon fiber toes are used in the fabrics. In reality, there is a uh, many different type of the toe, toes. There is 1K, 2K, 3K, 6K, 9, 12, 24, 48. Uh, and uh, 1K is the smallest and the lightest of all because it, it has only 1000 filaments in it. And vice versa, the 48K is the biggest and the heaviest type of the carbon fiber toe. Uh, usually 3K fabrics are used because they are uh, relatively small and lightweight. And uh, what is most important, they are uh, very cheap to produce. Now let's speak about the fabrics patterns. Here I have uh, two uh, carbon fiber sheets with the most common fabric patterns used on the market. Uh, the first of them is a plain pattern that looks similar to the um, uh, chessboard. And the second one is a 2 times 2 twill pattern. Actually, the plain pattern sure looks like uh, less fancy. Uh, but because of its uh, more tight design, uh, it works uh, better for production of small parts. For instance, for parts like uh, the um, uh, bar for this reinforcement thin uh, bar. And besides these two patterns, there are many more others. And uh, here you can see uh, the most rarest and exotic of them. And please leave in a leave a comment uh, below if you like any of those exotic patterns. Let me know which one you want to see on the drone frames. Now you know more about the, uh, about the carbon fibers, filaments and the fabrics.
and we are ready to look inside of the carbon fiber composites. And if you think that uh, the carbon fiber sheets are same inside as outside, then you are wrong. Here I have uh, some drone arm, actually two drone arms that I have uh, I have used in my uh, tests of the strength and the stiffness. During the test, the um, uh, this arm was uh, delaminated and separated in two parts, so we can easily see what is actually inside of this arm. So, as you can see inside, we aren't seeing the um, uh, same patterned fabric as outside. Here we have the unidirectional layers of the carbon fibers. Carbon fiber composite sheets are similar to the layered pie cake. From outside we have patterned uh, carbon, fiber, uh, carbon fiber fabrics, but inside we have many layers of unidirectional carbon fibers. Now I would like to tell you a few, few words about the strength uh, property of uh, carbon fiber. Here I have a sample of uh, unidirectional uh, composite sheet. Let's try to break it. As you can see, the, the carbon fiber have exceptional strength along the filaments. And actually, I, I'm not able to break it. Sure, I can, but I need to. Uh, I need to push harder. But if we try to break it, uh, I mean, in, in in other direction, so you can see it breaks easily. Because the the strand that we have, the resistance that we have in other direction is only the uh, bonding strength of the epoxy resin. So uh, let's keep this property in mind and come back to the carbon uh, fiber sheet structure. Most common way of layering down uh, internal layers is uh, 0 to 19 degrees. So it means that the layers are uh, laid down in perpendicular manner, something like that. So one layer going from left to right, the other is going from bottom to top, or and vice versa. So layers are arranged perpendicular to each other. That is made uh, with the intention to have stiffness and the strength in two axes. For example, here I have two bottom plates of my three inch shuriken frame. Both of them are cut from the same carbon fiber sheet. The difference is the, the first one is cut uh, with the arms directed in the same way of the in the same axis of the toes of the fabrics so but the second one second plate was cut with a 45 degrees to the direction of the toes let's try to bend them and uh, let's let's see the difference so as you can see, I'm trying to bend the first one where the the toes of the fabrics are directed uh, in the same way of the of the arms, and it bends, but bend, bends not much. With the second one, you see that the arm was bending much much more, or bending much much more. I'm not able to break it uh, any of them, even though the second one is much less stiffer. And here is one point that I would like to underline one more time, that the stiffness and the strength is not the same thing. I hope you have learned something new today, but let's remind the first, the 3K is not a quality, but the quantity. The second, there is many carbon fibers out there, but the 3K plane works uh, better for the drone frames. And the third, the stiffness and the strength is not the same thing. And I will put uh, and I will prove it also in the, my next video.
where I will test different types of the carbon fiber sheets and the parts of some famous frames. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and subscribe if you like it. Happy flying to all of you. Bye.